Okay, there's the starting lineups, Mark, uh, for the visiting Keystone Wildcats. Adam Gardner, number 12. Jeremy Delinsky, number 22. Brett Bartlett, number 32. Steve Rona, number 34. And Jeff Rubensall, double zero. And for Medview, they've gone a little smaller lineup tonight, starting out with actually four guards, Drew Elner, Brandon Grimm, Greg Trenchard, and Aaron Fox, and then Ryan Farabend underneath. So we're ready for the tip-off. This full house, both sides probably 75-80% uh, packed. And we're ready to go. Drew Ilner will jump against the much taller, six foot five Jeff Rubensall. See who gets the tip here. And controlled by the middies. Better timing, I think, got the control. Middies starting with the four guard offense. Man-to-man -man defense by the Wildcats. Grimm. Rebounded by Fox. Couldn't get it to fall. And Rona with the rebound and Ooh. a jump ball. Bit Turns of a quick it whistle there. That was a quick one. Wildcats will regain or keep possession. That was Rona. Rona, number 34, five foot nine junior. Bartlett, the freshman with the ball. Maybe also will be in a man-to-man. -man. Fox is on top of Bartlett. Rubens off from the outside. Draws first blood, two zip. Ilner, 4-3. 3-2, Midview up on top. And a three-pointer, Kaluski. 4-2, 4-3, excuse me. Fox, just off. Bartlett bringing the ball down. Brett Bartlett averaging 19 points a game and a travel. Adam Gardner. That pivot foot, Terry. Yep. Adam Gardner, senior. Him and Rubensall, the only seniors in the starting lineup. Only seniors on the uh, varsity team. Inside. Farabin throws it away, but rebounded by Trenchard. Farabin from the elbow, down but not in. And it's going to be a foul on Mivu, I believe. Drew Ilner. Could have been called on a couple guys from Mivu, I think. I think you're right. I thought he was going to call it on uh, your son there I for did a second. Too, because he did foul. <laughs> he got involved in that scrum. Maybe Drew pushed him. on top, looking for an opening, drives in with left-handed layup, just off. Ilner with the rebound. Oh, Ilner with a he double. He got away with it. Yep. That was a clear double dribble, he didn't call it. Brandon Grimm off the back of the iron. Fox controls for the middies. Fox going baseline, out of bounds. Mike Krushenko. Gardner looking inside. Nice crossover dribble. Gets it back out to Bartlett. Rebound by Farabin. Drew Ilner inside Farabin all alone for two. Score tied, five all. Bartlett getting a pick by Rumisall. 
Over to Gardner. Yep, Gardner another travel. It. Yep. Adam having a rough time getting going here. He's a good ball player, though. He is. And into the game is number four, DJ Shaw, another freshman for Keystone. And Adam Gardner's going to go out. So two senior or two uh, freshmen are out yeah. on the floor playing They're guard tonight. Guard. DJ at 6-1. Turnaround jumper, Fairbairn's good. Could be up by two at 7-5. Brett Bartlett, five foot ten. Rubensaw thought about that three-pointer. Kaluski, top of the key, and Rona got travel. travel. How tall is that official, Mark? Would you say he's uh, up there, about six, 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 seven, probably. Yeah. Jumper by Ilner, good. 9-5, Midview. <laughs> Rubensaw, down but not in. Rebounded and fouled. Good hustle rebound there by number 22, Jeremy Zielinski. Fairbairn with the foul. His first, second on the Midview. Middies, none on the Wildcats yet. Zielinski sinks the first. Brandon Grimm back in for the middies. Going to take Trenchard's spot. Nine six. Luski trying to add to that. Sinks the second. <laughs> I take a second look at that. Five points for Luski. Nine seven. Maybe up on top. Fairbairn, triple team. Lost the handle over to Deluski. Shaw got a foul. Ilner with the hold. It's going to be three on Midview. Second foul on Ilner. We don't need any more on Drew. No. Gardner coming back in, and number 25, Jason Mahalo. Trenchard back in for Ilner. Bartlett from downtown, Grafton for three. That's about the distance you used to shoot from, Mark. Only miss. <laughs> I've seen you make quite a few. But my mom would let me out that late. Trenchard setting up for three. It's good. 12-10, Midview up on top, 235 left in this first quarter. Bartlett going inside. No call on out. What? We're just standing around doing nothing there. There you go. And stolen away. Good look off by Rona. Couldn't get it to fall. Settle down, settle it down, settle it down. Brandon Graham inside three-point line, off. Rebounded by Rona. Bartlett bringing it up. Bartlett just off the front of the rim. DJ Shaw on the back of Krasinko for his first foul. Going to be first team foul on Keystone. Down to two minutes exactly to go here in the first. Entertaining first, first sure quarter is. so far, Terry. Kaluski back in. David DeFranco coming back in now, for, or coming in for the first time for Midview. Ryan Fairbairn's going to get a breather. Trenchard looking for opening. Oh, 
Brandon Grimm, a long three, good. Got it. Three threes for middies, two threes for the Wildcats. 15-10, Midview. Nice pass inside by Shaw, fouled by Fox. Gonna send Bartlett to the foul line. Nice play by the freshman. Real nice pass inside. First foul on David DeFranco. All right, they got David on that one. I was gonna give it to Aaron Fox. Bartlett gets the second, 15-11. Grimm, long on that three-pointer, rebounded by Bartlett. Shaw, top of the key. Deluski pulls up at the elbow for two. Seven for Deluski. Shanko. Cut off by Gardner. Up, David DeFranco's off on that one. Barlow with the rebound. Keystone with a chance to tie or possibly go ahead with a three. Deluski. The it's there. Deluski with 10. Keystone up 16 15. Maybe now go for one shot. Fox. Gonna call Carey. Been back in for the middies. Let him walk it up the court now. Bartlett's going to be short on that. First quarter ends with Keystone up by one, 16-15. Nice run at the end of the quarter there by Ter by uh, Keystone Terry to come from five down to go one up here at the end of the first. Back to back three pointers put him in charge. Now the refs can take uh, take a breath out there. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty fast pace. Uh, First quarter, both teams going straight up man to man. A lot of three pointers la launched yeah, out there. It's surprising you get that many open uh, three point shots uh, with both teams playing a man to man. Yep. That first quarter is usually a little bit of a feeling out period, seeing what the other team's going to do. And uh, no secret about what Keystone likes to do. They like to shoot the ball, bring it up court. And maybe you does too, although our shooting hasn't been exactly what we uh, we thought it was going to be at the beginning of the year, but uh, we're capable of shooting threes right along with them, I believe. Not a lot of turnovers in that first uh, quarter of action for either team, so very entertaining first quarter. Hopefully we have three more to go. Deluski leading the team with ten points. Bartlett has four for the middies. Drew Illner with five, Ryan of Farabin with four. And I, I wasn't aware that uh, uh, Jeremy Deluski was that big of a scorer, to tell you the truth, Terry. And, I uh, didn't either. He Brian got Meadows, too big there in the first. Brian Meadows in for the Wildcats, number 23, joining Gardner, Deluski, Rona, and Rubensall as the two freshmen take a breather. There's a the foul. And that's on number 23. That's going to be Meadows. That will be his first. Team second. Brian saw some action in the JV game, scoring two points. Inside. Pass inside. Farabin gets that rebound and puts it up and in. Six for Farabin, 17 16, Mibu. Rubensaw. Almost a steal. Dalutski. Just off, but he's got 
A push off it. underneath. Push off on Rubensal, I think. Double zero. He's going to on double zero. Jeff Rubensal. His first, he's third. Brandon Higby now going with their taller lineup, Terry, with DeFranco and Fairbairn both in the game. Fox, Trenchard, and Grimm round out the five starting the second quarter. Fairbairn, or excuse me, DeFranco looking inside for Fairbairn. Fox gets it to him, up in, just off, tipped up. But That's going to be a foul on David, I think, over the back. Yep. David DeFranco fight for the rebound. Jeff Schaefer now coming in the game. I imagine David's going to go out yep. with two fouls. And Brett Bartlett back in for the Wildcats. Looks like he's going to take a wing spot, taking the place of Gardner. Meadows is going to bring the ball up. Bartlett. in constant motion with their offense. Everybody's moving, setting picks. Rubensall inside with it. Out to Meadows. Deluski with a fadeaway. Does a fall. Fairbin with the rebound. Biddy's up by one. Tipped out of bounds by Meadows. Looking for Schaefer inside. Shaw coming back in for the Wildcats. Rona will sit down. Trying to get that back door. Schaefer is going to get called for travel. There's steel. Fox. Quick hands there by Aaron. Knocked that ball and hit it. Ryan Fairbend and went back out of bounds. <clears throat> DJ Shaw just off. Big rebound by Fairbend. Fairbend skied on that one. Get that rebound down. Fox losing control and falls out of bounds over to the Wildcats. A little lull here for the last minute or so. Yeah, the scoring is uh, definitely uh, come to a little bit of a lull. Just two field goals apiece. Uh, one field goal, really, for the middies. No score yet for the Wildcats in the second quarter. Gone off almost two and a half minutes. Deluski with a drive and a foul. Foul on 14, Brandon Grimm. That's the team six. A little early for six team fouls, too. The Keystone's going to have a lot of foul shots coming here with, with five and a half minutes to go. Heading into one and one. Ryan O'Donnell getting ready to come in for Midview. Deluski at the line. He's already in double figures. Adding to his team lead with 11 now. Taking Jeff Schaefer's spot. Second one also good. He's still back out on top by one. O'Donnell down low. He's and that brought some people off of their seats. <laughs> it brought uh, DJ's older sister Aaron off the seat real quick. <laughs> that looked clean from our angle. 
Christian. Well, they're not going to give him a shooting foul, though. It's going to be DJ's second foul. Grimm's going to sit down in favor of Krishenko. As the referee palms the ball, out of bounds. <laughs> Fox couldn't get the fall, got his own rebound, and it's going to Keystone. Aaron's really struggling so far. Meadows bringing it across midcourt. Hello. That's going to be a double dribble call. Call to travel. I don't think he had a good angle on that one. Keystone up by one. Krishenko gets set for that three-pointer. He cans it. You give Mike that much time, he's going to hit a good share of those. I, I, Mike hits his first one, too. He's going to be tough. That one's short. Rebounded by Meadows. He gets it up. A high archer. And D.J. Shaw with a steal off of the rebound by O'Donnell. Good box out that time by the middies as Fox gets the rebound. Aaron Fox going all the way down, throws up a wild shot. Blocked by Rubensall. Got to get Aaron under control, Terry. Nick Geisler coming in for the Wildcats for Brian Meadows. Coach Morgan asking for an explanation on something. And Trencher to inbound. Over to Fox. Kashenko sets up. A little long and now Trencher to the rebound. Reverse layup. And it's going to get a hold down low. On Geisler. And it's going to be a one on one. No? Nope, they're going to give it to him. Not yet. And a turnover. No. Krishenko saved it from being a turnover. Farabin called for traveling. A lot of officials in the stands that had to pay to get in. <laughs> On both sides of the court. Good reflex by Shaw, saving that one from going to the back court. Trenchard with a steal and gets knocked down. I think that might be number three on Shaw. Unfortunate foul. I think DJ just stumbled into Trenchard. Both teams now with six fouls. Rona back in, and for the second time, Mahalo back in. We're going to get a timeout. 30-second timeout for the Wildcats. Midview up on top by two at 20 to 18. First quarter was a scoring quarter. This quarter has been more of a defensive effort. Right, and both teams offensively look like they've got a few cobwebs, but both teams are playing good, tough man-to-man -to -man defense, Terry. It's tournament atmosphere here tonight, Mark. Oh, you bet. Well, the, the, the conference uh, championship is not out of Midview's reach, and Keystone is tied for first. Three losses, I think, is going to keep you right in there, and uh, that's where Midview's at. Midview's tied at second with Firelands four and three. Keystone Overland six and one. Middies play this Friday. Our next home game is Friday, February 2nd against Overland. They go to Brooks, Brookside this Friday night. Donald back in, over to Fairbin. Fairbin with that left hand, puts it up and in. Ryan with eight. Middies up by four. 3.30 left in this first half. Bartlett back door, blocked wow. by Fox. with the jumper from the foul line. He sinks it. 
Brian Fair really stepping up now. Brian Fairbairn with 10 points. Mitty's up by six. And gets a foul on Trenchard, I think. I think that was a little bit of acting by Bartlett. I don't think he got nailed quite as hard, but yeah, that's nonetheless foul on Greg Trenchard. It's his first since Brett Bartlett to the foul line for a one-on-one. -on -one. I was watching him cut through there, and I, I did not see that, but there was some contact there somewhere. Sinks the first. Bartlett with five, going for six, cutting the lead down to five. Matt Schmidt in the ballgame now for Midview. Sinks both. Three out of four from the foul line for Brett. 24 20. Fairbin going up with it. Off the glass for two more. Fairbin with a dozen. Midview up by six. Two and a half left in this first half. Galuski from long range. Rebounded by O'Donnell. Out to Schmidt. Schmidt looking down to Fairbin. Krasinko inside and nice was pushed. By Ryan, Fair, by Ryan O'Donnell. Nice look in there. Both teams in a one and one, as you said, Mark. It's going to be a two-shot foul. Chance to give Midview their biggest lead. Sitting at six right now with uh, 2.06 to go in the first half. Shrinko gets the roll in. Nice soft touch. Aaron Fox coming back in. We got uh, Rubensaw coming back in for Keystone. Gardner also returns. There's six uh, Keystone players out there. Yeah, we got to get one out. Deluski's coming out. Got Perfect from the line. 28-20, Midview on top. We got a uh, uh, defensive mix up. There's a man running around unguarded. And there he is with the shot. Fox with a rebound on that one. We're under two minutes left in this first half. But he's up by eight. Trenchard slowing it down. Fox going to put up a three-pointer. It's going to be well short. And Fairbairn with the rebound trying to put it up. He was fouled. Foul's going to be on Rona, his second. Fairbairn to the foul line. It's the first. Fairbairn with 13. Mitty's up by nine. O'Donnell knew it. He was in too soon. He's already back to the other end. <laughs> he hustled out of the way. <laughs> Bartlett bringing it down. Over to Gardner. Gardner with a floating jumper. Rebounded by Farabin over to Trenchard. Trenchard milking the clock. Gardner almost stole that one. And a travel. Schaefer coming in for Farabin. Ryan sitting down with 13 first half points. 
minute five left. Rubensall's jumper. Rebounded by Rona. On the floor, Fox gets it away from Geisler. And we're going to have a foul. Going to be on Geisler, his second. First point for Aaron Fox, who's been on a hot streak the last few games. Jimmy Pruder coming in. Gonna take Jeff Fox or Jeff Schaefer out. That's a different substitution there. Uh, basically uh, four guards out there with uh, O'Donnell. Right. Second one's also good. Mitty's up by eleven. Mitty's sort of matching the uh, lineup that. Keystone's got out on the floor. Gardner from behind his head for two. First points for Adam Gardner. He's got that strange shot where he brings the ball right behind, behind his, his head. head. Right behind his head, you're right. Down to 27 seconds. Be looking for one shot here now, Terry. Yep. 15 seconds left. He's counting. Counting. Got to get rid of it. Five-second count. Aaron Fox trying to direct traffic and get things set up. Just lost uh, his bearings on someone guarding him. Yeah, that close. you've got a guy guarding you up tight, you got five seconds to, to do something with it. Bartlett, double teamed. Gets it out to Gardner, throws it up. Almost fell. That's the end of the first half. Well played first half. Maybe you up by nine, 31-22. We'll be back in a few minutes with the halftime. Uh, good, solid defenses by both teams, and uh, and both teams took advantage of some open three-pointers, which we expected. And uh, uh, again, I expected Ryan Farabin to get his share of points underneath, which he definitely did. Farabin leading all scorers with 13. Five apiece for Krashenko and Ilner, and three apiece for Grimm and Trenchard, two for Aaron Fox. For the Wildcats, led by Jeremy Deluski with 12, six for Brett Bartlett, and two apiece from Adam Gardner and Jeff Rubensall. So uh, Keystone has to see if they can get Brett Bartlett untracked. He had one field goal, which was a three-pointer. And we're gonna let the pep band get through so that uh, we don't have anybody get crashed into there. So I like a little bit of a delay. Just a little delay here. I like how Keystone really runs their patterns. They they run and continue movement. They don't yeah. stand around. They you go down and pick and pick out one of the Keystone players and follow them, and you'll you can see what Terry means by that. It's good for the young kids to watch these guys move without the ball. I have to comment. Good job, Aaron Fox has done on Bartlett, Mark. You bet. He's yeah, shadowing yeah. very well. Trenchard with a bump. Good call. Greg had one step on him, but bumped into him first. His second foul for Greg. Greg just needed to commit himself to getting in between that pass a little bit sooner. Driving in, going to get it to fall and get the foul. He does a nice job with that uh, spin move. Got a lot of poise for a freshman. He sure does. You can tell he spent a lot of time in the gym or with a basketball in his hands. Bartlett with three-point play. Nine points for Bartlett. Biddy's lead down to six at 31-25. Early in the second half. Drew Ilner, short on that one. 
Gilder spent a lot of time in the first half on the bench with two quick fouls. Bartlett driving again. Good stop by Grimm. Up and in, and a foul on Farabin. It's going to be Ryan second. On the court for the Wildcats, Bartlett number 32, Rona 34 at the foul line. Adam Gardner 12, Rubensall double zero. And number 22 is Jeremy Deluski with the 12 first half points. Corona gets his first points. He's done with the first four points here of the second half. Cuts the lead down to five. Missed the second. Il or Fox with the rebound. Middies with that four guard lineup. And a foul on Rubensall. It's going to be Jeff's second foul. Going to send Farabin to the foul line for two free throws. Fairbend just gets the roll off. Second one's going to be well short. And that gets the Keystone fans into it. You know, I was going to say, when Ryan addressed the foul line that time, he looked like he was hunched a little bit, but like it wasn't a natural position for him. <clears throat> Good help by Fairbin. Deluski. Rona with the rebound. Tipped out of bounds by Fairbin. Krushenko in and Grimm out. Middies. Still going man to man. Adam Gardner. Nice rebound by Rona. Tipped out of bounds by Trencher. Good hustle over there by both players. Rona gets his hands on a lot of loose balls, and he's only five foot nine. It's just the idea of getting your hands on it. You're right, tipping it around, keeping it alive. He must uh, box out well and have a good nose for the ball. A long three-pointer by Bartlett, rebound by Fairbin. Bivu slowing it down, being very deliberate. Gone almost two and a half minutes without a score yet by the middies. Fox with a jumper. Ilner underneath with it. And tied up down below. It's going to be Middy's ball on a jump ball. Rubensaw at the bottom of that pile. Looks like they're fighting for a first down on that one. Yeah, it did. Several people had their hands on that one, just couldn't come up with it. Right. I think Rubensaw had more of the ball than anybody. Trenchard will inbounds for the Middies. from three point. That's good. Trenchard with six. Middies up 34-26. Looks like uh, they've given Bartlett to go ahead to take it over if he wants to. He's got a nice touch. Yes, he does. A nice rotation on the ball and everything. A real light touch with it. Kind of surprises me because he didn't score much at all the first game. Side. Nice back cut by Fox. Middies up by eight. Good pick. 
pick there by Rubensaw, but good defense by Fairbin. Oh my. Bartlett still gets it to go. Nicely done. Bartlett has 11. Biddy's up by six, 36-30. 4.15 left. Jumper by Ilner, just off, tip back yep, right. by. He's gonna get a foul. Fairbin had his right arm on yep. the back of Deluski. Right, he didn't hit him when he was tipping the ball, but he had his he had his off hand on him. Right, for leverage. Three fouls on Fairbin. David DeFranco's gonna come in for Ryan Fairbin. Meadows in for Keystone, along with DJ Shaw, number four. Ryan gets a nice hand when, as he goes out. Did a nice job. I don't think he'll be out for too long. We got a little over four minutes to go here in the third. Yeah, he's only got three fouls. Depends how uh, David handles things out on the court. And throw it away. Meadows. Tossed that one away. One of his players was supposed to stand there and he cut instead. DeFranco, going baseline, back out to Fox, goes inside. Going the other way. It's gonna be three fouls on Greg Trenchard. I didn't see that one in there. Good job by DeFranco to head off Bartlett. They're gonna get Trenchard on that or Fox? Certainly Fox. Fox. That's five team fouls already on Midview. Make that six. Second foul on Fox. And Midview wants a timeout. Schaefer's gonna come in for Trenchard. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. Midview's still holding a six point lead. 323 left in this third quarter, but the fouls are at a six to one pace here. They're really mounting. We got uh, what, Trenchard and Fairbend with both with two now. How many does Ilner have? Or three, I mean. Trenchard and Fairbairn with three. Ilner has two along with DeFranco and Fox. So uh, you don't want to have a good shooting team like Keystone at the foul line if you're Midview. But if you're Keystone, on the other hand, no better place to go than the foul line when you're down. Score when that clock stops. This broadcast brought to you by Grafton Cable. Give Grafton Cable a call at 926-3230. Pick up those premium channels. Bartlett, 4-3, a little long. Ilner skies with that rebound. Down to Krasinko. Go ahead, Mike. Mike's going to launch it. It's going to be short. Fox inside with it. Reverse layup couldn't go. DeFranco with it, and hey, he was fouled. fouled. Nice job underneath there. Meadows going to pick up his second foul. David did a good job keeping that alive. Fox and DeFranco both uh, asserted themselves underneath the basket there. Keeping that ball alive. David picks up uh, a two-shot foul here. David gets the first. Seven-point Midview lead, 37-30. David's first points of the night. Missed the second, Fox tipped it out over to Keystone. Fox playing with two fouls. 3.03 left in his third quarter. A little full court pressure by Fox. Three point attempt by Gardner, it's good. Adam Gardner with five. Four point lead. Keystone playing with basically five guards out there right now. And any of them can shoot the three point shot. Inside nice to DeFranco. Job, nice pass by Josh Schaefer under there. David definitely with the advantage. Oh yeah. 
David at 6'5", and right now the tallest player might be Shaw at 6'1". And not just the height either, that's a big weight advantage too. David can take up a lot of space underneath there. David gets the first one to roll off. David's one for three so far at the foul line. That one's gonna roll in. 38-33, the uh, midview lead is now five with uh, two and a half minutes to go in the third. Aaron Fox still sticking right with Bartlett. Blocked. Good job by David DeFranco on DJ Shaw. Last year they were teammates on the freshman team. For that's, their, uh, that's a good part. Or the eighth grade team, excuse me. Right. Two freshmen going at it. David DeFranco. Foul on 22, Zalewski. Yeah, that's what they're calling. That's Jeremy's first. He's not sure of that one. Zalewski's guarding DeFranco. Now Jeremy is what, 5'9", David 6'5". There's eight inches if my math's right. <laughs> Jalewski's yelling at David to shoot it. <laughs> Don't go inside, shoot it. Dillner's off on that shot, rebounded by Gardner. Bartlett going to the hole, gives it the count. Boy, they are really giving them a continuation in that, Terry. Nice job by Bartlett, taking it to the hole. Aaron's third foul. Bartlett was up in the air, though. Jimmy Fruiter coming in for the middies. Aaron Fox going out. We've got three, three guys now with three fouls. And all three of them are sitting on the bench right at this moment. See who's going to guard Bartlett at the next time uh, Keystone has the ball with Fox out. Bartlett complete, completes that three-point play. 14 for Bartlett, two-point lead, 38-36 for the middies. Krishenko for three, in and out. Good job by Krishenko, knocking off to Lewski. Good hustle by both players. Mitty's ball out of bounds with a minute eight left. Outside to Schaefer. Setting a double pick for Ilner. Good defense by Keystone. Unbelievable the way uh, Dulewski's battling underneath there, and I think he's going to pick up a foul. He is. He is. Dulewski second. Only the fifth on Keystone. Lobbed inside to Franco. Schaefer with a tip. Rebounded by Bartlett. Under a minute left in the third quarter. Gardner taking it to the hole. Jumps up. Off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Schaefer. Over to Pruder. Mitty's got to get it across midcourt line. There they go. Tight defense by Shaw and Krashenko. Bartlett on Ilner. Meadows on Pruder. Turnover. 17 and a half seconds left for the Wildcats. They could either tie or take the lead here with a made basket. Yeah. 
Schmidt, he's coming out, double teaming. Down to six seconds. Bartlett from downtown off the front of the rim. Right. And a foul. And a very bad foul on Jeremy Deluski. Deluski's picked up three third quarter fouls. That's the sixth foul, so it's going to be out of bounds. Right. But he got saved by the fact that maybe he's not shooting fouls, but Jeremy picks up another one that he should have never. Uh... Next foul by Middies will send them into the one to one. Nice pass. Ooh, almost. Nice defense by Gardner saving that basket. That was a good play by the Middies. So at the end of three, Middies holding on to a slim two point lead, 38 36. Keystone with a 14-point third quarter. Mitty's only getting seven. <laughs> Foul trouble both sides. Keystone with three fouls is Deluski, Meadows, and Shaw. For the Mitty's, Trenchard, Fox, and Farabin. Eight minutes left to go, Mark. Gonna go right down to the wire, Terry. Could very well happen. Both teams will be shooting one and one on their next foul, next trip to the line. I don't think anybody left here yet. No, I don't think so. I uh, think Don's up in the top of the stands up there. Is he awake? Yeah, he's awake. He's scratching his head. I think he just woke up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Getting his bearings a little bit. It'll be uh, Keystone Ball to start off the uh, fourth and final period. For Keystone, it's going to be Deluski, Meadows, Gardner, Shaw, and Bartlett. Shaw being the tallest at 6-1. Middies come out with uh, DeFranco and Farabin, Fox, Ilner, and Krishenko. Middies going with their uh, taller lineup. Keystone with their smaller one. Tie up. Gardner losing the handle of it, and Fairbend is there for the tie up. Minnie's ball out of bounds. Rubensaw coming back in for the Wildcats. Help offset the big size disadvantage. Gardner's going to sit down. Finally, Deluski can guard somebody more his own size than Grishenko. David DeFranco from the foul line. And oh, no. That's four. Farabin with his fourth. Shaw is going to go to the foul line. <laughs> Trenchard's coming in for Farabin. Now there is no real height advantage, I don't think, Terry. No. Pretty you much evened out now. 6'5 senior versus a 6'5 freshman. Shaw cans the first. His first point. One point lead. He could tie it here. DJ sinks them both. He's got a tie game. And near through, thrown away by Ilner. Tight man-to-man -man pressure by Keystone. We saw that in the JV game. Ilner for two. Seven for Drew. Mays up on top by two. Bartlett from downtown off. DeFranco with the rebound. Middies trying to control the pace of the game, Mark. Oh, I think so. They'd like to slow it down a little bit.
Fox with a jumper for two. Steal by Fox, or by Elner. Two on one. Fox up for two. And a timeout called. Full timeout for the Keystone Wildcats. 6.14 left in the ball game. Mivius just pushed it back out to six. That's the most noise I think I've heard in here in, uh, in all year, Terry. From I think you're right, Mark. And I think uh, Coach Morgan called a timeout just in time to, to stem the tide there and uh, yeah. try to get the momentum turned back the other way. You can sort of sense when a timeout should be called, and that, that was one of those times. That was it. Keystone student section standing up on this side, and Midview student section up on their side. We got 6.14 left to go here in the fourth. Well, just in a uh, little more than uh, a half a minute, Midview reeled off six straight points. 54 seconds. 44 seconds, excuse me. Six straight points. Something unusual here. I think we're going to full court here. And that's uh, unexpected with the foul trouble we've got. Good double team over here. Stolen by Krashenko. He might have traveled at midcourt. Ilner for two more. Ilner with nine. A point lead, 550 left in the ball game. Good change of pace at that time out by Coach uh, DeFranco. Yeah, the, the trap like that, full court, that was a nice move. Krashenko guarding Bartlett now. Rebound Fox. Middies going to slow it down. Coach DeFranco calling the play out. Not much movement there for Midview so far. Rubenson to Franco, really working inside. Timeout Midview call. Timeout. 30 second timeout for the middies. 4.56 left in the ball game. Still a lot of time to play. Nice run by Midview, eight consecutive points, Terry. Got control of the ball, just under five minutes to go. Way too early to start thinking about fouling yet for Keystone, but right, right now they're sitting on 16 fouls. Maybe you'll be in a one and one at the next opportunity. Krashenko to inbound for the middies. Trenchard in the backcourt. Guarded by Bartlett. Tipped out of bounds by Rona. Almost a near steal out there by Geisler. If you're really taking their time right now. Backdoor play to Ilner. Good for two. Ilner with 11. 10 point lead. Bartlett looking for a pick. Kashenko doing a good job on defense. 
Up and under and a travel. Keystone's going to turn up the defense a little bit. Fox with a jumper off the back of the iron. Rebounded by to Fox. Stolen away by Rubensall. Trying to get it to DeFranco. Long shot. Rubensall for a three. Wow. Seven for Rubensall. Yeah. Jeff Rubensall. Timeout, Keystone, full timeout. 3.28 left in the ball game, seven point lead, 48-41. This could get interesting. Oh, it sure could. That was a heck of a shot from the corner there by, by Rubensaw. Nice touch by the six foot five senior center. Forty-eight, forty-one, three twenty-eight to go. And there's Don itching his head again up there. <laughs> I think Don's getting nervous. Well, I know I am, Terry. I tell you, it's a whole different perspective when your son's playing. Yes. You know, you don't find yourself watching the entire game as such. Sometimes you're watching, uh, watching what's happening around where your son's at. And uh, I get more nervous watching a game like this than I ever did when I played basketball. I agree. It was too much fun when we played, Mark. That's right. You were too busy having fun. That's right. Now Keystone's going to go in the full court pressure. I'm surprised they haven't done this all night, knowing how uh, we suffered earlier in the season right. handling the ball. Mitty's got to get it across midcourt. Hillner brings it across. Double team over to Trenchard. Fox is alone underneath. There's and a grab. Pop. Nick Geisler picking up his third foul. That's seven now on uh, Keystone. Drew Ilner go to the line shooting a one and one. Ilner with 11. Mitty's up by seven, 48-41. Shaw and Rubensaw coming back in. Rona and the, Meadows sitting down. They had the smaller lineup in there just to put the full court pressure on. Now they're back to uh, a little bit bigger lineup. Rubensaw 6'5", Shaw 6'1". Coach Morgan's done a great job with this, blending this young team in with the uh, veterans. Oh, he sure has. First one's in. Sometimes it can be difficult bringing some freshmen up to uh, play, or younger kids in particular up to play when you got seniors on the team, but they're winning, makes it a lot easier. Got them both to mid you lead back up to nine. Deluski's in. Rubensaw, I believe, will sit down. Something's wrong here at the scorer's table. Yep. Zalewski might not have checked in for Rubensaw. Referee now talking it over with Greg Morgan. Rubensaw can't come back. He came in at last dead ball. There you have it. Got to have some time off while he's in the game, I believe. Ah, it's going to stand. Mike Krashenko on Bartlett. In and out. Geisler couldn't get that one to fall. And a foul, no, a travel. Fox had a little bump to the face, but uh, the referee thought that didn't cause his travel. He traveled on his own. 
3.01 left. Nine point lead. Keystone with the ball. Bartlett. Good job by Kershenko. Up blocked from behind by Shaw. Going to catch a foul though. DJ Shaw with four. I thought he got all ball on that one. Might have got him with the body. That's what the ref's saying. He got him with the body okay. underneath. David DeFranco at the foul line. I guess if I was Keystone, you'd look out on the floor and see who you want to foul. I that's, think uh, David would be the one. Put the freshman at the line. David's two out of five so far. Ryan Brian Fairbend. Fairbend back in for the next opportunity. Ryan probably will go in for the shooter, right. David DeFranco. Ryan hasn't been in all this quarter, I don't think. Yeah, he picked up uh, this quarter. I think you're correct. David misses both. Rebound controlled by Keystone. Adam Gardner from long range. On the back is Deluski. Deluski's going to pick up his fourth. This will get Farabin in the lineup. Good job by DeFranco while he was in there, though. He did a nice job. Drew Lyons fully rested, but he's got four fouls on him, and he's going to have to be uh, be careful. You don't want him to play timidly, but then again, well, let's not get on anybody's back. One and one now for Drew Ilner. 2.33 left in the ball game. Mivu up by nine. Rolls in, makes That's a 10-point nice lead. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Shooters bounce? Yeah. And the lead is 11. If Coach Overy's wife doesn't have a baby after this game, then... She's going to carry it full term. <laughs> All this excitement. Bartlett going inside, drawing the foul. Krishenko with the block. I think we're going to see a lot of that the rest of the way in as Bartlett taking the ball to the hole. Trying to draw the foul. Two Two shots for Bartlett. It's nine team fouls now on both teams. The rest of the way out will be two shots. Fifteen for Bartlett. Verona will re-enter. Going to take Adam Gardner's spot. And Meadows coming in for DJ Shaw. Got them both. 16 for Bartlett. Nine point lead for the Middies. Full court pressure. Middies doing a fine job handling that pressure. Stolen by Meadows. Bartlett going in. Underhand layup. Couldn't get it to fall. Foul on Bartlett. Good try by Brett Bartlett getting that layup, getting to the basket. Just couldn't get it to fall. Ryan will get two shots. And two shots. Only Bartlett's first foul. And he's only a freshman. Three more years of this. Fairbin, long on the first. Oh, gonna get He's the, gonna get it over again. Someone moved on the foul line. Fairbin gets a second chance for that first one. Nice arch on that one. You get another one, Ryan. One more? Yeah. Shaw coming in for 
Keystone. Meadows will sit down. Coach Morgan asking for explanation why this is a replacement. Midview so far, 12 out of 20 from the foul line. Missing. 10 point lead with 2.05 left in the ball game. Backdoor play. Taluski gets the ball back. Long range for Rona. Foul on Geisler. Geisler's fourth. Fox going to the foul line for the middies for two. Chance to put the midview lead out to 12, Terry. In and out. The other leader in the Lorain County Conference, Oberlin, is playing at Wellington tonight. Oh, that's going to be a good one. That would be a good game also. Doesn't Fox get missing both. Bartlett gets the rebound. Keeps his dribble alive. We're actually double teaming him. Long pass over to Rona. Back over to Lusky. 4-3. Couldn't get a fall. Good hustle by the Wildcats trying to save that ball. We are actually double teaming with Bartlett, leaving a man open right now, Terry. Adam Gardner coming back in. Ryan Fairbin's going out for foul shooting. Rona will sit down. Minute 40 left in the ball game, 10 point lead yet. Good job by Krasinko to hold that out. Make him foul. There it is. Bartlett fouling Grimm. Good idea. Grimm's been on the bench most of the second half, so he's a little cold. Yeah, that's very, that's a good point. He's, he's well rested, but you sit there long enough and you do lose your touch. Bartlett second foul. Brandon Grimm has one three-pointer on the night early in the first quarter. Still has his foul shooting eye, though. Midview lead is now 11. Now it's 12. Both. Bartlett bringing it down. Shaw in the corner. Back over to Bartlett. Over to Gardner. Gardner's going to put up a two-pointer. It's good. Timeout, Keystone. Timeout, Keystone. Gardner was seven. 30-second timeout. 55-45, minute nine left. Well, I'm sure we're going to see Keystone full court pressure, Terry. And uh, we get the ball in, they're going to foul the first person with the ball. Bartlett, Rona, Gardner, Geisler, and Meadows on the floor. We've got nobody over six foot tall, I don't think. Well, maybe, uh, well, no, Drew Elner's six foot, Aaron Fox six foot, so. Leaving the uh, Fox open. Triple team is Fox and fouled right away. Wow. Fouled by Geisler. That's going to be his fifth. Wow. 
Shaw and Delutsky coming back in. As Geisler will sit down with five fouls, he did not score, but he did a good job on the defensive end. Aaron, 50% from the foul line, two out of four so far. Sinks the first. Ryan Janagi enters for the first time for the Wildcats, Verona. Janagi, a junior, at 6-1. Joining Shaw, Bartlett, Deluski, and Gardner. Got them both. Fox with 10. 57-45, minute left in the ball game. Bartlett for three. Bartlett with his average at 19. Unbelievable. That that he has put. A career's worth the three pointers at the end of the games uh, this year alone, Bartlett has at the end of games. And that that shot there was was four feet past the arc. He won two games right at the end, I think, didn't he, Terry? And last second uh, three pointers. Yes. Keystone's only loss in the conference was to Midview back on December 15th. Won the final score is 68-44. But since then, Keystone has rattled off eight straight victories. Keystone down by nine. Got a lot of shooters in there. All five of the shooters in, uh, players on the game are good foul shooters and three-point shooters. What does Don say? It's not over until he sings? Something like that. Yeah. Good job getting it in bounds. Quick foul. I think the referees made the uh, clock operator put some seconds back on the clock. Jeremy Deluski will foul out with that foul. Jeremy will sit down having a good night with 12 points. Doing a good job. 5'9", 160 pound junior. Rubisaw is going to come back in. We've seen Rubisaw can shoot from the outside, too. Yeah, you can't leave him alone, that's for sure. Yeah. Two shots. Drew Ilner. First one short. Second one to fall for Drew Ilner. Don't let him walk it down the court, guys. Shaw trying to draw a foul. He gets open three pointer. Hits the baseline. Turnover to the middies. down there. Could be on Gardner. Brandon Grimm now with a chance to put us up by 12. Gardner picking up his first. <laughs> 45 seconds left in the ball game. Brandon Grimm with five so far in the night. That one rolls out. Gets the second. Grim with six. Nice job by Drew Wilner. Set it up, guys. Set it up. Lanky away. Play. And a 
foul. DJ Shaw will foul out with that foul. DJ is going to sit down with two points. A very heads up play by Drew Ilner. They were letting that ball roll so the clock wouldn't stop until start until they touched it. And Drew stepped right in there and took the ball from him. DJ playing a nice game. Meadows returns for the Wildcats. Ilner with 16 points. The last five coming at the foul line. Gets that one to bounce in. 17 for Ilner. 60-48, Midview. Got him both. 18. Schmidt and Wolf in for Midview now. Fox will sit down. I think we're set now. Rubitsall with the ball. Bartlett open for a three. Short. Janagi with a rebound and fouled by Pruder. No basket. Jimmy Pruder picking up his first foul, so he's in the scorebook. Ryan Janagi at the foul line for two. First time to foul line in this game for Ryan. Ryan had 13 in the JV contest. Hold Donald in for Drew Ilner. Ilner's going to sit down with 18 points. Strong game for Drew Ilner. Janagi missed both, almost stepped in. Wolf with the rebound, and Wolf was fouled. And Ryan Wolf's going to get a chance to put some points up. He'll go to the line. Well, Terry, if uh, Wellington would happen to beat Oberlin, that, if, uh, and I do say if, that would really create a, a tighter conference race here with... Uh, it would keep Keystone in first place, right. tied with Oberlin, and then one game back would be Midview. Right. Firelands tied with Midview right now. Firelands is playing Clearview at home tonight. Brian Wolf gets his first shot off the rim. Brian is, is a 6-6. Six, six. Junior. And he gets a second. Ryan's in the book with one. 15 seconds left. 14 point Midview lead. Meadows looking for an opening. Gardner shoots and was fouled by O'Donnell. Nice job by Ryan picking him up after he knocked him down. Gardner's going to get three from the foul line. 